for the council has been twenty years, and he takes no lip off nobody and let her off the gutter, puts it in a bag, and never thinks to mutter, and he packs his lunch in a sunless bag. The children call him bogey, he never lets on. But I know 'cause he once told me he let me know a secret about the money in his kitty. He's gonna buy a dinghy. I call her dignity. On the the recent Radio Four program, only artists, um, Jen Frankwell, who's who's done the amazing artwork for the Scottish Gone Book, described how you'd send her your interpretation of the song along with what the song meant to you and your memories, perhaps, if that's the right way of putting it, of that song as a part of your life. Yeah. Um, was that was what characterised how you chose the songs to select for the album? Yeah, no, I think that's very much what, what made me um, hone in on those ones, yes. Yeah. So there were they're either songs that had a really strong connection with me at, at some point in my life. So a lot of the, the songs that come from the 1980s um, like Hole of the Moon and Chance from Big Country and Dignity from Deacon Blue. You know, they're songs I remember um, from being a teenager. But I think what's what's made me pick them is that the the meaning of them is sort of morphed. They're both connected with that time and somehow represent that whole era of time. So it's not just about what they mean to me in my life, but they seem to me to almost be describing a point in history. Um, and certainly with dignity and chance, to me they're just they're songs of the kind of Thatcher era, Central Scotland, which is where I grew up. They're songs mm. about um, either being beaten down by life or hoping for a better life. Others that are that are more contemporary, you know, there's um, machines by Bithy Clyro and Swim Until You Can't See Land uh, by Frightened Rabbit. Yeah, I, I would have I, the choice of Biffy Clyro surprised me somewhat. I, I would have, I could have possibly guessed at you doing a John Martin or a Jerry Rafferty, but yeah, not Biffy Clyro. I think you know, I mean, obviously J- Jerry Rafferty and John Martin are kind of like iconic songwriters, kind of coming out of Scotland. So they were. I mean, there's any number of songs I could have picked from their, like, repertoire. I mean, with the John Martin one, the Don't Want to Know About Evil, I just find that quite creepy now. Um, there's something about the kind of, like, um, fake news, post-truth era. Yes, yeah. When I hear the lyrics for Don't Want to Know About Evil, it makes me think of the actual moment that we're in. And, you know, when that song was written, like, in 19, early 1970s, it came out. So there's something weird about that, that songs aren't always just about the time that they were written and their, their meaning can kind of morph. But with the Biffy Clyro, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess there's something about... It's, it's very similar. The songs have a, a similar kind of resonance. For me, it's the, it's the refrain of that song, the take the pieces and build them skyward. I saw that the, the, there, there seemed to be, as you say, as you've described, um, uh, um sort of um, a linking and a concept behind the lyrics in the songs. We're... I think there is. I think, I mean, I think when I... I think I'm drawn to certain kinds of songs. There are songs that kind of straddle that um, happy, sad, hope, despair line. That's the line that I tread in my own song writing. So I think when I'm fishing around for songs by other people, I'm naturally drawn to those kind of songs. So I it's kind a... of went at it with a folk singer's head. I was fishing for the songs that felt to me most like folk songs. And I think that's true of this, all the songs that are on the album, is to me that they have a kind of folk song. Um, the imagery or the story that's in them feels familiar to me. I don't want to know about evil I only want to know about love 
Sometimes it gets so hard to listen. Hard for us to use our eyes when all around the gold is glistening. Making sure to keep us down to size. I don't wanna know. I have to say, I got goosebumps listening to your version of Chance. I think Big Country, other than to their dedicated hardcore fans, are maybe a band that are easier to overlook because they, their sound is, you know, it's very, it's quite bombastic and, you know, and big, but the lyrics are, the lyrics and melodies are absolutely killer. Like, I think Stuart Adamson is a total genius. And, um, yeah, I mean, I could have covered half a dozen of theirs their songs, because to me they speak absolutely to the time and place that they were written um, and that time and place is where I grew up, so Dunfermline's just, you know 12 miles away from where I grew up so yeah. it all felt really familiar and I think the version that we've done of Chance is probably my favourite on the album Oh, it's absolutely it's, it's, I it's, really love that song and, and it really draws the lyrics out again Oh, to me, I mean, they're such beautiful I mean, heartbreaking lyrics so thanks but um, yeah I think that is probably my favourite of the yeah. and it is quite a radical <laughs> um, deconstruction of the the song but to me the down, when you pair it back down to the bones of it the bones are beautiful Oh the rain came down on a cold new town as they carried you away From your father's hand it always seemed like a fist reaching out to make you pay He came like a hero from the factory floor with the sun and moon as gifts but the only son you ever saw were the two he left you with When you come to do a song, when you've picked a song and you've selected it, do you? does it take a while to get your head round how musically you want to do it? You've got the lyrics there, but, but musically you can go in many different directions. It Did can do. Certainly there, there was a few songs that... Um, there were some, some songs where I had a clear idea of what I wanted them to sound like in my own head, and others where it was more of a collaborative process with... Um, well, especially with my trio, with my brother and with Inga Thompson at the core of the six-piece band that are yeah. on this album. So an arrangement like, for example, Ho the Moon, um, I, I, couldn't have, I couldn't have conceived. I had, a, I had my own stripped-down version of that that I just played on tenor guitar, but the actual arrangement that we've got was much more of a, a workshop and process in the room with Stephen and Inga. And I couldn't have done that without Stephen, really, because um, he's also got... A, I mean, a lot of the songs were picked in, in collaboration with Stephen because we we grew up together. We're only a year and a half mm. apart. You know, we, we listened to each other's records. <laughs> so, that you know, a lot of the songs are, 
have come from our family home and our group. And he knows what makes you tick, doesn't he? He does, and, and we've got really, really, you know, similar reference points. Um, and also because we've been working together as a trio for so long now, we've got a way of working um, that's just really sympathetic. So, yeah, some of it was sitting in the room and fishing around for ways of doing things. And Stephen is great. He's got much greater technical facility than me um, musically. So I might have an idea of a feel that I want, but I have no idea how to conjure it on my own fingers, mm. um, whereas mm. Stephen can. So it has been a, a collaborative process, for, for sure. You saw the whole of the moon You saw the whole of the moon You were there at the turnstiles With the wind at your heels You stretched for the stars You know how it feels To reach too high Too far Too soon You saw the whole of The one thing I'm able to do is I understand, well, I feel I have an understanding of where I live and where I grew up. And um, the thing that I, the culture that I best understand is the one that I grew up in. Yeah. Um, and I'm only one person in it. But that's really why I've made this album. It's an album of Scottish songs that have a particular resonance for me um, because of where I live and where I grew up and the, the culture and community that I live in. Um, so, I've, so that's, you know, I, I understand that better than I understand things that come from somewhere else. Um, and I hope that by caring about these songs that got generated here, they can connect with people in other places as, as well. Yeah. So um, it's, it's, I guess the Scottish songbook thing is partly symptomatic of, of me kind of um, what's what's the word? Cutting my cloth almost. 